This morning, we're hearing from local doctors about the FDA approving Pfizer's booster. This is for teens, children, 12 through 15. Our Eric Pointer joins us now live from the newsroom. Eric, what kind of impact does this development have on the fight against the coronavirus? So I spoke to the executive medical director for the Franciscan Physician Network of Central Indiana. He says it adds another layer of protection, which is important, especially as students return to school. Boosters were already recommended for everyone 16 and older for the Pfizer vaccine, but now the FDA has announced it for children as young as 12. They also reduced the time frame between when they got their initial dose to get the booster. It had originally been six months in the past, and now for this age group, the federal regulators say it's five months. Dr. Paul Driscoll with Franciscan says that the booster is important because the Omicron variant has shown to get past some of the antibodies, the initial vaccine, and we've seen more and more breakthrough cases. Well, what this move is going to help do is um, help protect those 12 to 15 who are going back to school, potentially going to be exposed to older people and younger students who, uh, who perhaps can't be vaccinated yet. So uh, it provides a, another layer of protection for them, can help reduce the, uh, the total disease burden in the communities. Dr. Driscoll says that while we have seen breakthrough cases, the vaccine and booster have helped to reduce the symptoms in hospitalization. The CDC must decide whether to recommend the booster for the younger teens. The director is expected to rule on the matter later this week. Lindy.